Okay, we're now going to look at multiplying numbers, including multiplying negatives and positives together, negatives by negatives, etc. Okay, um, whenever I introduce multiplying negatives, I like to look at this little pattern, okay? So, 5 times 2, well, 5 times 2 is obviously 10. 5 times 1 is 5, and 5 times 0 is 0. Now, look at what's happened to our numbers, our answers. 10, 5, 0. And I'm just doing 5 times 2, 1, 0, minus 1, minus 2. Well, looking at the pattern, you can see it's getting, uh, you're taking away 5 each time, so you can see this answer here will be minus 5. 5 times minus 1, well, that's minus 5. 5 times minus 2 is minus 10. So, from this, we can deduce a few things. We can deduce a positive times a positive gives you a positive answer. So, a positive times a positive gives you a positive answer. And we can deduce that a positive times a negative, a positive times a negative, gives you a negative answer. So if you times a positive number by a negative number, you'll always get a negative answer. Okay, so um, let's look at the other side. Uh, this is the same, but instead of it being 5 times 2, 1, 0, minus 1, minus 2, it's now minus 5 times 2, minus 5 times 1, minus 5 times 0, minus 5 times minus 1, and minus 5 times minus 2. Now we looked at here, and we seen that a positive times a negative is a negative. Well, if we've done it the other way around, a negative times a positive, well, a negative times a positive will also be a negative. So if minus 5 times 2 is minus 10, minus 5 times 1 is minus 5, and minus 5 times nothing is nothing. Now look at what's happening to our answers. Minus 10, minus 5, 0. They're getting bigger by 5 each time, so by uh, logic, the next answer would be 5. So a negative times a negative, minus 5 times minus 1, gives you a positive answer. Minus 5 times minus 2 is 10. So we have got our four different rules. We've got a positive times a positive is a positive, a positive times a negative is a negative, a negative times a positive is a negative, and a negative times a negative gives you a positive. So in other words, if the things you're multiplying together have the same sign, so two positives or two negatives, you get a positive answer. If the two numbers you're multiplying together are different to each other, so positive and negative or negative and positive, you get a negative answer. Let's look at a couple of examples now. Okay, so example one, we've got uh, nine times negative three. So we've got a positive times a negative. The first thing I actually do is not to worry too much about that, and I just look at nine times three. Well, nine times three is 27. So it's gonna be something to do with 27, all right? Then you've got a positive times a negative. Well, positive times a negative, positive times a negative is a negative, because they're different to each other. So the answer is negative 27. Next one, negative 5 times by negative 4. Well, again, I just ignore the negatives for the moment. I just do 5 times 4. 5 times 4 is 20. A negative times a negative, well, a negative times a negative is a positive. So the answer is just 20. Next one, minus 2 or negative 2 times 12. Well, 2 times 12 is 24, and it's a negative times a positive. Well, negative times a positive, they're different to each other, so it's going to be negative 24.